Now, first it was the UK, now it's France. That country says it too will impose a one-time 50% tax on banker bonuses next year. So is this just the beginning? Let's bring in Chris Roebuck. He's a former UBS executive who is now a professor at the Cass Business School in London. And he also serves as a consultant for several European banks. Chris, good morning. Thank you for joining us. French President Nicolas morning, Sarkozy uh, has had signaled that this tax would be likely. Angela Merkel, the Chancellor of Germany, also called the tax a charming idea. So does that mean Germany could be next? I think there's an interesting question there. Whether or not bankers in Germany would describe the tax as charming or not, to be honest, I don't know. But if you, if you look at what's happened between Brown and Sarkozy, Merkel's comments, there's a possibility that I think we might start seeing a ripple effect over in the EU. Although Merkel has, to be honest, also said that as far as she's concerned, there's a question about the ability to enforce such a law given German uh, regulations. Now, the UK, when we're talking about banker bonuses, is much more dependent on the financial services industry than most other economies in Europe. What would be the justification for the other countries to follow suit beyond political reasons and giving in to public anger? Well, to be perfectly honest, that's actually the, the underlying driver to, to some elements of this move. The general public in those countries are not particularly happy seeing bankers getting bonuses that are 100 or more times larger than the average wages of most people in those countries. So as a result of that, the governments are coming under significant pressure to do something about it. And whilst there's a justification in UK in terms of cash injections from the government that have to some degree boosted the market, I think the French banks have also said from their perspective, as they haven't had any government money, it's a bit unfair. So there are a number of, number of different factors going on here from the financial to the political. So then why stop at a one-time tax? Why not tax from here on out? That's probably very, very risky. I am fairly convinced that any country that goes ahead and actually does this on a regular basis is going to see uh, a significant outflow of talent to somewhere else. Now, speaking of outflow, to what extent is this going to drive bankers out of Europe and into other markets like Asia or perhaps the, the Americas? The question you have to really ask is, Am I able to move? That's what the bankers are going to be saying. Am I able to move? Is it worth me moving? Now, for some people who can actually do what they do elsewhere, there may be a possibility. For those who, to be perfectly honest, have a significant client base in their home country will find it difficult. And also to that degree, there's the personal perspective. If you have a wife and family and somebody says to you, would you like to move halfway across the world? There are other questions to be taken into account over and above the financial side. Right. I'm sure there will also be other questions about executives beyond those in the financial services industry getting paid a lot as well. We thank you for your time. Chris Roebuck, professor at the Cass Business.